Okay, now that we have seen what a business process is, let's move on to the document type and how it's related to a business process. Right, so document type. A document type represents the characteristics characteristics of a business process. What do I mean by that? So let's take the same example. So this company right sells servers and sells software and when it's selling a server so it's going through a salesman who contacts a list of potential customers and out of them some customers are interested to proceed forward so in this case these customers are not really interested at this point to buy the product but they just want to have a look and feel of it maybe find out if it's really useful and uh, they might ask you for a quotation quotation and then maybe iterate over the quotation at this point you see this quotation is a business process receiving a quotation from a customer does not mean that you can ask your factories to, to start producing that server or piece of hardware right so demand is not transferred to production your production facility which could be in china or in the us does not need to start producing it because it's just a quotation the customer just asked for a quotation also a quotation will have a whole bunch of statuses like you know what uh, it's 10 percent through because it's a sales and negotiation cycle right it's 10 percent through or it requires a vp approval or um, it's a hot lead versus a cold lead meaning it might not even go through or it might go through with a high probability and maybe it's approved internally or by the customer or maybe it's just lost these are all statuses now an order need not have a status but a quotation could have a status after the quotation is done let's say if the customer agrees to buy it maybe he'll place an order and when an order is placed that's when the customer agrees to buy the product and when the customer agrees to buy the product we can signal our manufacturing either the vendor who's producing and sh shipping it to us or our factory which is actually producing the goods so you can pass the demand to the factory and this document will have a corresponding delivery and invoice also linked to it because a quotation will not be delivered anyway we know it so you don't need to have the uh, quotation to be configured with the corresponding delivery in case if delivery is asked or corresponding billing in case billing is asked because quotation is not delivered quotation is not billed whereas an order is manufactured or procured it's delivered it's invoiced so this is a different business process altogether and maybe after an order is placed you really check for the credit that you can you know extend to that customer maybe because not all customers are equal right a fortune 500 company could be extended a great amount of credit but an offbeat family-owned company might want to be a little careful right so credit management is required here credit management but in this case of quotation there's no need for a credit management because it's more or less like an inquiry more formal form of it okay and after an order is placed it's delivered 
right so it's delivery and then delivery is going to have details like picking packing the route that it needs to take to reach the customer so on right and then the hardware is installed configured and the customer agrees to it and says okay I'm good and then of course once the customer agrees it's invoiced meaning the bill is sent to the customer and the customer pays it so this business process will have things like can we cancel the invoice or not um, if there are more than one invoice in a month like if the, if the customer buys like regularly like one server today one server at the end of the week and maybe 10 servers in a month can we produce all of them in an invoice list as opposed to an individual invoice that depends on the choice of the customer so these are all properties of the invoice or the business process called invoicing that we are trying to document another example is can you post negative values right so this over here is an example so if you go back these so SAP has broadly classified all these different business processes into three different classes okay the first one quotation inquiry orders okay is called as sales let me put it in a different color so this is called sales so this is one type of categorization or classification the big one and next we have delivery this is the second kind of classification of the different business processes and the third of course is invoicing okay so there are three different kinds of business processes in sales and distribution let me go here and say in SD there are three different classes or three different categories of business processes business processes sales delivery and billing or invoicing and each of them is configured in a different place now sales for example could have more categorization underneath it we'll talk about that in a minute and deliveries of course are different categorization billing can have different categorization if you want to give me some examples a sales is an example of a sales categorization is an inquiry which is different from a quotation which is different from an order which is different from a consignment which is different from a contract and each of them actually represent a category category of a sales business process similarly in delivery we're going to have different categories of business process like uh, regular deliveries expedited deliveries returns and these are delivery categories right and invoices have their own item categories and invoices have their own billing categories like standard invoice if you want to give money to the customer like if you have overcharged the customer you would do a credit or if you have undercharged the customer you would do a debit memo 
if you want to do corrections there is invoice corrections these are all examples of billing categories okay now where is the document type I'm talking about business processes three different classifications of business processes sales delivery billing and then underneath each of them I'm talking about sales categories delivery categories and billing categories so where is the document type a document type represents all the variations that are possible in a particular category for example <clears throat> if you are talking about a quotation which is of a category type quotation in sales a document type represents all the properties of how a quotation should behave this is called as a template so a document type represents a template that's used to characterize how a business process of a particular category behaves we'll talk about the template in the next chapter